Well, we have finally made it into Rome, short of some things not going all that correct. Welcome back everybody to our 11 day cruise through the Mediterranean on Norwegian Cruise Line's epic ship. We started this cruise five days ago in Barcelona, Spain, and have made stops at Cannes, France, and Livorno, Italy, where we were able to see and visit Pisa and Florence. But in today's video, it is all about Rome and seeing the Colosseum and the Trevi Fountain and uh, just having fun. So let's go. Hi, group. Go ahead, everybody. I knew you would. I think I'm probably going to go to guest services tonight because what's listed on that sheet is not what this is. Tax Roma. How many people you have? No, we need a taxi to the train station. How many people? Uh, we have 10. 10 people. It's possible you go Rome. You should go Rome. You should no, go we just want to go to the train station. But you have the ticket, the train? Huh? Your ticket to the train? We're going to get tickets at the train station. But you have your ticket? You have the ticket, you have the ticket. The train or, or you know? No. It's possible. One second. So you go wrong. It's ten people. We just want, we, we just want to go to. The, we just want to go to the train station. Go, 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 you pay five, five euro each per person. Okay. Go, 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 go. It's okay. Just one day. Right. Okay. So the issue. Uh, ten people. Ten. Okay. I paid him. We're good. We're okay. good. Yeah. Okay. Beware of pickpockets. In case of need, ask only Trenitalia buy, staff for yours. more information. All right, everybody, be aware of your surroundings. Uh, well, I thought that's where we were going to go, but... Uh... Well, we have finally made it into Rome, short of some things not going all that correctly. But hey, we made it, and we're walking. Our first stop is going to be at the Trevi Fountain, and I'm going to walk on the street so I can talk while everybody else... Are we good? We're good. So, so far, uh, on this adventure, quite interesting. We had to take a train, which... Uh, to get to the train station, we had to take a taxi from the complimentary bus service that the, the port provided. It technically uh, did get us out of the port area, but... It, yeah, it did. It put us on the opposite side of where the train station was at, so we had to try and get a taxi, and nobody wanted to take us to the, to the train station. They wanted to bring us here. So, all in all, we're here, and uh, first stop is uh, the Trevi Fountain, because that's where Taylor really wants to go. Hopefully it's not uh, crazy, crazy busy with a lot of people, but we're also hoping to see the uh, famous TikTok lady who yells, attenzione pit pocket. So, we'll see. It's right around this corner. Is it? Yay! <laughs> Just a reminder, everybody, be aware of your surroundings. I legit got the chills. <laughs> it's not even cold out. I know. So we are at the Trevi Fountain and I have a coin that I am about to toss in here, but this is this was amazing. The way that we came in, we came around a corner and then just got the big reveal. Uh, if you see the people jumping over the barrier in front of me, that's they're not supposed to be doing that. So follow the rules when you come here and you'll still have a good time like we are. Uh, just kind of like hang out, wait behind people a little bit and then you'll be able to get up right close with the Trevi Fountain right behind you. That's what we did and we got great photos. Uh, but it's about time for the coin toss. You ready? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm going forward because... You, ready, you going? I'm ready. <laughs> Well, we're trying to throw coins and actually get it in there. There's been <laughs> we two or three twice. bloopers already, so we got some good content. It's stuck in my hand. Hilarious. <laughs> I did it. You got it. <laughs> she got it. I'm nervous about that one. The Barely, but it's in there. The <laughs> okay. I'm like. If you miss, it doesn't count. Yeah, mine went down there. Okay. There it is. Oh Money. yeah, way in there. <laughs> hey, stay here. Why? Because this might switch on here in like two minutes. Oh really? Does it turn on at 11 or something? Well that guy over there has got his camera set up like he's waiting. 
we found that most of Rome was pretty walkable, especially if it's not extremely hot uh, and you don't really have a time schedule, which are two things that weren't going for us this day. Even though we did a lot of walking, it was exceptionally hot and we did have a time schedule. Uh, even though this is an overnight for us here in Rome, we're actually docked at Civita Vecchia in, Rome. in yeah, Italy. Yeah. In uh, we do have a time frame of when we need to get to the Colosseum. So we're trying to get some of this stuff in before we get to the Colosseum. So then that way, after the Colosseum, you know, if some people want to hang out and stay around, they can do that. If some of us want to head back to the ship, we can also do that as well. And so... After checking out the Trevi Fountain, we decided to make our way over to the Spanish Steps, which really wasn't that far away. Yeah, Maybe about a 10 minute walk or so. <laughs> we have made it to the Spanish Steps. It was actually a much shorter walk than I was expecting from the Trevi Fountain. Uh, it was just down a couple little streets and we made it here. Uh, another busy place, of course. It's a sight to see, like all the others. Uh, but if you're doing all of the walking around, it's definitely worth just taking a stop. Made it to the top of the stairs and Tyler was already up here. Hanging out, eh? looking down over. Oh, I see. They're right there. Space Hey Adam, Taylor wants us to get a photo. Excuse me, could you take a photo? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Oh my God. I said, get together on one of the landings so we can take your picture. They freaking had somebody take their picture up there. No. <laughs> I mean, close, close enough, but. Close enough. Sort of, kinda. Not really what I meant. But. So there's a fountain over here, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna try it out. Oh my God, he is! That is uh, that is quite refreshing. That cools you off almost immediately. It is nice and chilly. All right, y'all. We are gonna walk towards the Panthenon and stop and eat along the way. Okay. Get yourself some Frenchies. Smell good. It's in the there's shade. Like, there's like nobody here. I think. Josh, pause for one sec. Let me take your picture. Now, when you come to Rome, one thing that I would really recommend that you look into is getting a tourist card. And this tourist card is something that you can pre-purchase. It can be a little bit expensive, but it's really worth the value. It gives you access to a lot of these uh, historical sites. So uh, the Panthenon, I believe, was one of them. And uh, we could have went inside and taken a look around, but you had to pay for it. We did not get the tourist card just because we you know, we weren't sure if we were really going to have enough time to like maximize the value of that card. And so uh, it's something that's worth looking into. You know, we really only spent like maybe five minutes here just kind of taking some pictures outside, looking at the Panthenon and then trying to make our way to the Colosseum to meet for our time to get in and actually tour the Colosseum itself. And to do that, you actually have to pre-purchase a ticket. It does sell out very quickly, so I suggested that you do that early. And for our time, I believe it was about two o'clock. We'll be squished, but. Wait. Can we pay by card? Card? No. Yeah. That's no problem? Okay. Uh, to the Coliseum? Thank you, Tyler. Oh, no, thank you. So we still have a little bit of time. Uh, this uh, nice gentleman right here, who's like an official tourist guy, uh, information guy, said if we want good photos to go up here underneath this palm tree, and we have time if we want to. Yep. Um, so once we're ready, we'll go down the steps and there's like a little white tent right here and we'll go in and we can go in 15 minutes before our time. Please. We've made it to the Coliseum today. This is like our big kind of attraction uh, for uh, our port day and kind of exciting. We got to go and see some other stuff earlier. 
And now we're gonna walk in and uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's like what we're gonna do, but we're just gonna walk around and see it. Oh, watch these steps. Honey, this is a wonder of the world. I know, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Look One, like two, that. three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. Oh, wait, I'm eight. Idiot. <laughs> Show him. It's just one barcode. Oh, okay. Hello. Should be eight. Eight? Eight. Yes. Yep. Okay. Right here. One. Two. Three. Yep. Four. There's eight of us. Six. Seven. And then green is eight. Thank you. Wait for a good job. Yeah, I'm taking a breather because my heart rate's 130, but you know. So how are you doing so far? Well, it's very hot because it's mid-afternoon and we've been walking around. However, I am quite excited because we are at the Coliseum. This is the second wonder of the world that Josh and I have been to. And I was very excited when we saw it. Uh, we saw a little, um, it was like a tourist information guy that was kind of just standing along the road and like was looking for people that were like going into the Coliseum. Basically he's helping people that are getting dropped off from the taxi yeah. and the buses. Yeah, he saw people getting dropped off with taxis and buses. And so uh, he kind of told us, you know, about 20 minutes before your time, you can go down and, sorry, you can go down and check in, go down these stairs right here and follow your way to the tents. He's like, but since you still have like 15, 20 minutes till your time, he's like, go up on this hill up here. He's like, and you'll get really good pictures of the Coliseum. So we actually did do that. There was not many people up there, which was really nice. So we got some shots with no people in the background with the Coliseum behind us. So if you have patience and give yourself a little extra time, pretty much anywhere you go here, you can get shots without people in the background. Cause I know that's like a big thing that people are always worried about. Like, I don't want people in my photos. Cause I always think about that. But here I was like, it's gonna be so busy. So I really don't care that much. Like there's gonna be photos in everybody's pictures. But if you just wait for a few minutes, you'll get those empty shots that you want. Oh, there might be a, there might be a shop up here. It says bookshop. So there might be, <laughs> Hopefully some water. I got a video. I don't think so. He's right there. Nothing? Unfortunately, nothing at the bookshop. Okay. I ran ahead to try and take a look. Postcards, I saw no stickers as well. Yay. We had a wonderful time. <laughs> we thank our tour guide, Josh, for getting us here. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> and the taxi. So we are starting to make our way back to the port because it's been a long day. It's super hot. It's like well over 100 degrees. Uh, and I think we all are just totally spent. Wow, look at all those people over there. It's a lot of people. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I think one of the great things about Europe is just public transportation usually is very reliable. Um, the only thing that we had was just a little sample with the tickets for yeah, the metro. We figured it out. We used tap and go with our phones. Yeah. So we are now going to bounce from the metro to the train station and head back to uh, Civitavecchia. I think that's how you say it. Civitavecchia.